Okay, here we are approaching our unit. The units are decorated in the Tahitian style, so everything in here is browns and greens with lots of palm trees and native shrubs. We're approaching the front door, which has a screen door in it, so you can have the breezes come in or you can block out the heat of the day. We also have sliders that lead onto our porch. This is being shot in March in the afternoon. So you can see that we're in total shade in the afternoon, which is really nice when it gets warm. And in the morning, it gets the sun. So you can sit out here and have your coffee. Over on the side, you can see our lock boxes. And that's how we'll give you access to our place. Coming inside, I remind everybody that time you enjoyed wasting at the beach is not wasted time. We also have <clears throat> sand toys, so you don't have to bring your own. Uh, we do ask if any of the sand toys get broken that you replace them for the next guests that are staying here. This is our living room. The two couches here, one of them is a pull-out couch or you can just use the two couches as they are to sleep on. We also have a flat screen TV, quite large with a DVD player and a VCR player. And that's our slider back outside. Turning towards the kitchen, we have an open kitchen with counter high um, seating for having a meal. There's five bar stools there, as well as our dining room set, which has four seats and there are two additional seats in the downstairs closet if you'd rather eat at a table. Our unit here has some things that you can use. We have wine glasses on the top. We have um, paperback books, which you're welcome to read and leave or swap out. DVDs, uh, VHS, and down below we have board games. Into the kitchen, we have our full-size refrigerator. Um, the refrigerator is a little bit on the small side. We will. Um, mention that. It's a full-size refrigerator, but it's not one of those humongo ones because it just doesn't fit in the kitchen. And we have our stove, microwave, toaster oven, coffee maker. There's our toaster tucked in the middle over there. It's a flat top stove and a brand spanking new dishwasher. So you should have everything that you need in order to make whatever you're looking for. We have tons of pots and pans, as well as serving bowls, all sorts of things, including full sets of bowls, plates, cups, anything that you need in order to make a meal here. We also are providing in our um, downstairs pantry, there is a rolling full-size cooler. And that cooler is great for when you're going to the beach. You can pack your lunch in it or your drinks. It's got wheels on the back side, handle on the front side. You just take it over our boardwalk and you're on your way. There's also a shot of our bread maker, our, seven, our second coffee maker. We also have left down some of the smaller um, coolers, which may or may not be there. Um, those have a tendency to <clears throat> walk away when we leave them here. This is the downstairs bedroom. It is a queen size bed. Plenty of um, storage space. Inside the closet here, we do want to point out that we have a high chair. And behind it, if I can get a shot, is a picture of our pack and play. So if you have a guest that's under two years old, they have some place that they can sit and they can sleep. Here's our uh, TV down here. It's a nice size. It has a built-in VHS player as well as some VHS tapes down below it. And the downstairs bathroom has our, has our apartment size washer and dryer. We do ask that you bring your own laundry soap. We don't provide that for you, but you are welcome to use it. As well as, uh, this is the full size shower and bathtub. Going back out, We'll now bring you up to the second floor. 
This unit has nobody above you or below you. You're only attached on the side walls. And so you tend to have better control over the noise level in the place. Upstairs, we open out into our loft bedroom. <clears throat> As you can see, there are some open spaces that go out into uh, looking over into the living room area. We have a big beanbag chair, uh, one of our two love seats up here. The beds are a double bed on the bottom and a single bed on the top. So there's plenty of places for people to sleep. And there's a flat screen TV up here with a DVD player. Going into the second full size bedroom, this is another queen size bed. Here's someplace else for people to hang out. And we have our TV with a DVD and a VHS player up here. Plenty of storage area for your clothes. Going out onto our back balcony, we call this the sunset balcony because as you can see at five o'clock at night, the sun is going to be setting. The shimmer you can see in the far background is Corpus Christi Bay. And at night, the lights of Corpus Christi twinkle right over there. It's absolutely gorgeous. In the foreground, you have the sports court, and that's Highway 361 over there. We have chairs and uh, a little table for you out here also. Also coming into this room, we have the second full bathroom. Sink, toilet, and another full-size tub and shower. So that's the tour of our unit. That bike, we have been told by the last people who stayed here that the bike is not salvageable, unfortunately, so we'll have to get rid of it during this trip. But that's our tour of the unit. As you can see, there's plenty of space for everyone to spread out in. We've been told that lots of people have kids have a big sleepover up in that loft bedroom. Walking back outside, we're going to go towards the pool. As you can see, the pool is in the uh, distance. You can't sit on our area, on our patio, and watch children in the pool. But we are just a few footsteps away. The pool is quite large. It has a cabana over on the side. We also have an area for grilling over here. And people ask us, us if the pool is heated. The answer is no, the pool is not heated. Either is the ocean, in case you were wondering about that. But it is a nice sized pool, and as you can see, it's kept really clean. Thanks so much, and we look forward to renting to you. Bye now.